Hi, my name is Alan Madden. I'm a chartered accountant and a tax expert in the Mississauga, Toronto and Oakville regions of Ontario, Canada. Today's short video is called Why You Should Incorporate for Real Estate. I'm going to tell you the top five reasons why you should create a corporation to hold your real estate investments. So let's get started. Reason number one, a corporation allows for limited liability protection. That means in the event of a lawsuit, because of your real estate assets, your personal assets like your house, your car, and financial assets are not at risk. The most common types of lawsuits involving rental properties are tenant injury claims. If you're not willing to part with your personal assets, then it's important that you incorporate to get limited liability protection. Number two, corporations allow for easy succession and estate planning. You can purchase a real estate investment for the benefit of your kids and family members. Your kids and family members would become shareholders in the corporation. Any future growth from today's value would accrue to the children and family members. As a result, your estate tax is limited to today's market value of the property. And like I said, any increase is taxed to the children, not you. The third reason to incorporate your real estate investments is to allow for partnerships. It's very easy to have a corporation and multiple partners. In this particular case, each partner would become a shareholder in the corporation and you could have as many shareholders as you require. It's also easy to remove existing partners or shareholders by having the corporation repurchase their shares or by buying back their shares. Also, you can add new partners by issuing new shares from the corporation or selling shares to the partner. This way you can get additional capital for your corporation. The fourth reason is because financing is easier with a corporation. In fact, banks require that commercial properties purchased be done so in a corporation. Number five, you can income split through the use of a corporation. For example, if you and your spouse are shareholders of a real estate corporation, then the profits from that corporation can be distributed evenly to each of you via dividends. Compare this to the alternative where one spouse owns the property and all of the profits are included in that spouse's income. That would cause the owning spouse to have his taxable income rise and tax bracket increase. So you see, with the corporation, it's easy to income split or income average. I hope that you found this video useful. For more great tips and tricks, please visit my blog, maddenca.com, the link for which is shown at the end of this video. Also, get access to your free report, 20 Tax Secrets on How to Beat the Tax Man, the URL for which is also shown at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time. Thank you.